In this video, where is the van battery on a Fiat Ducato and how do you jump start it? It's not necessarily how you think. So because of course this video is just basically about how you do something, we'll keep it brief and we'll just get straight to the point. So the first thing is where is the vehicle's battery located on a Fiat Ducato? Well, in the UK, it is situated under the floor in front of the passenger seat. Now it's in the same location, of course, on left-hand drive vehicles, except it's where the driver sits. To lift the cover, you can just use the key, turn these, and pull the cover away. So the important thing here is that you do not jump start a Fiat Ducato directly from the battery. There are actually specific points to do just that under the bonnet, as we'll take a look now. So if you look under the bonnet, directly in the middle, just in front of the scuttle panel below the windscreen, you'll see an earth point. There's a little bolt sticking through, and ultimately that is going to be the earth connection that we're going to use in this video. If you get your key again, and you look down on the right hand side, you will find a little cover. If you place the key into the slot, you can carefully lift this cover up and it reveals your positive connection point. These are what we're going to use in this video today. It's important to connect the cables in a certain order. So we're gonna connect the red cable to the donor vehicle. In other words, the battery that's gonna supply the power to jumpstart the Ducato. Then we connect the other end of that red cable to that specific point that we've shown you already in the video. Next, we're gonna connect the negative cable. And again, that goes first onto the donor vehicle and then onto that bolt that we've shown you already in the video. Now we can start the donor vehicle up, but please note you don't need to rev it because unlike with cars, with dynamos, you just have to rev them quite high to help give charge to the vehicle that you're trying to start. Nowadays with smart alternators, that's just completely irrelevant. So as long as the engine is running on the donor vehicle, it'll be absolutely fine. Then we can go and start the van. Once the vehicle is running, we just need to disconnect the cables. And we do this in a reverse order of how we did it when we were connecting them up. So we're gonna first disconnect the negative cable from the van and then disconnect the negative cable from the donor vehicle and then disconnect the positive cable from the van remembering to shut that cap back down and finally disconnect the positive cable from the donor vehicle of course you do need to make sure that the jump leads or jump back are suitable for the engine size that you're trying to start and of course if you're only using a jump pack and you only need to connect the positive terminal and then the negative terminal of the jump pack. So following that process, you've now started your Fiat Ducato. I hope you found that useful, everyone. If you did, please hit that like button because it, well, it just shows your support and it helps build the channel. And if you're not subscribed, why not subscribe? We do plenty of videos, everything to do with owning camper vans and motorhomes. Why don't you click the subscribe button? It'll appear somewhere there in a few moments. It's completely free, but we value your support. See you soon.